the entire year you have been learning various concepts solving hundreds of problems mm -hmm. but this is a very crucial time where you have to apply what you know so be at your best do your best and give your best and in all your efforts your math facilitator divya is with you this is a fast track series of ssc 2020 dedicated to the students of telangana and andhra pradesh who are going to give their board exams this year clear so here we are discussing the chapter wise previous years important questions along with the concepts and formula we have completed paper one which contains seven chapters as you all know so if you have not watched those videos then do go and watch because it gives you a complete package of all the important concepts at one place and now today we are going to start paper two and in this video we are going to discuss chapter nine tangents and sequence to a circle now this question is given in 2019 and is a one marker now this is a circle with center o and p is a point and from this point p you have a tangent to the circle okay now what is a tangent to a circle it is nothing but a line which touches a circle at a single point okay now if you see this tangent touches the circle at a single point a now this ap is called length of the tangent okay and it is given as 24 centimeters in the question now also it is given that the distance from the center to the tangent is 25 centimeters okay and we all, we have also learned that tangent is always perpendicular to the radius okay now let us join this a and o so the distance between center to any point on the circle is nothing but radius as we all know and this is what we have to find out as according to the question so now this is r and now we know that this is radius and tangent is perpendicular to each other okay so using pythagoras theorem what can we write we can write this hypotenuse op op square is equal to ap square plus ao square okay so op is nothing but 25 so 25 square is equal to ap is nothing but 24 24 square plus AO is radius so R square now we have to find this R so 25 square minus 24 square is equal to R square bringing 24 to the other side so 25 square is nothing but 625 minus 24 square is 576 this is nothing but R square okay so subtracting this gives you 49 is equal to R square so R is nothing but root of 49 okay you want the value of r so taking square to the other side becomes square root okay so r is root 49 49 you can write as 7 7 za. yes so writing it as 7 7 za, which is nothing but 7 square so root 7 square so square and square roots gets cancelled so r is equal to 7 centimeters clear very simple one marker moving on to our next question which is similar question to the previous so this is given in 2020 pre-public paper and it, it is also a one marker now this is a circle of center o and p is a point from which you have a tangent ap and the length of this tangent is 8 centimeters and the distance of the point p from center o is 17 centimeters similar problem so using pythagoras theorem you can write it as op square is equal to ap square plus ao square so op is nothing but 17 here so 17 square is equal to 8 square plus ao is r so r square 17 square is 289 is equal to 8 square is 64 plus r square so we want r square it is nothing but 289 minus 64 okay so r square is equal to 225 clear so r is equal to root 225 which is nothing but 225 is nothing but 15 into 15 we can write as 15 square 15 into 15 so r is equal to the square and square roots gets cancelled so r is 15 70 meters now since we have solved two questions of the similar type now it's your time to do it yourself so this is again a similar question wherein they gave you that the radius is 5 centimeters and 
the distance from center to the point is 13 centimeters you have to find the length of the tangent which is nothing but ap okay using the same pythagoras theorem so it is op square is equal to ao square plus ap square okay so op square is 13 square is equal to ao is 5 radius is 5 plus ap you don't know ap so you take it as x okay now solve this so that you will get the value of x which is nothing but the length of the tangent so do it yourself now moving on to our next question this question was given in 2019 as a two marker okay so this is a circle of center o and t is a point external point and from this external point you have two tangents to the circle at points a and b okay now they told you that angle a t b angle a t b so this angle is nothing but 80 degrees okay so this is 80 degrees and they are asking you to find angle a b t so a b t that means you are asked to find this particular angle okay so now as you know that from the theorem you know that the tangents from an external point to the circle the two tangents from the external point to the circle are equal okay which means that this t b and t a are equal okay so when two sides of a triangle are equal then you call that triangle as an isosceles triangle do you remember so in an isosceles triangle this angle and this angle are equal yes so that means if i take this angle as x then this angle is also x yes now we also know that sum of angles in a triangle is 180 yes which means angle a t b okay a t b this angle plus angle t b a or angle a b t okay plus angle t a b this angle is nothing but 180 degrees okay now angle a t b is given as 80 okay plus angle a b t we don't know we are taking this x okay and this angle is also equal these two angles are equal so both are x so the sum is 180 okay so x plus x is 2x and 80 i will take it to the other side so it is 180 minus 80 so 2x is equal to 180 minus 80 is 100 so x is equal to 100 divided by 2 here 2 is in multiplication when it goes to the other side will be division so x is equal to 100 divided by 2 is nothing but 50 so x is 50 degrees which means this angle is 50 degrees and this angle is also 50 degrees as we know that the angles these two angles are equal since this is an isosceles triangle okay very simple question only you need to know that the tangents from an external point to the circle are equal the length of the tangents are equal so by that you can find out the other angles of this triangle now moving on to our next question this is given in 2020 pre-public paper as a four marker okay so o a q b is a quadrant of a circle and o p q r is a square and o p is 10 centimeters that means side of a square is 10 centimeters you have to find the area of this shaded region how do you do it so by looking at the figure you can find out that area of shaded region you can get it by area of this quadrant this complete quadrant minus area of the square if you do then you will get the area of the shaded region clear so let us do the same thing here let us firstly find out the area of the square okay so area of square OPQR is nothing but side square S into S and here side is 10 centimeters so it is 10 into 10 which is 100 centimeter square so this is the area of the square now just look here I can join O and Q and if you can find OQ is nothing but the radius of this circle okay if you complete the circle OQ is nothing but the radius okay but you can find OQ this radius value by looking at this OPQ is nothing but a right angle triangle okay in a square 
the angle here it is right angle so OPQ is a right angle triangle so you can easily find out the value of R how OP is 10 centimeters and PQ is also 10 since all the sides of a square are equal so OP is 10 PQ is 10 and you have to find R wherein OPQ is a right angle triangle okay so using Pythagoras theorem again so it is nothing but OQ square is equal to hypotenuse square is equal to OP square plus PQ square and you know that OP is 10 centimeters and PQ is also 10 centimeters so 10 square plus 10 square which is 100 plus 100 so it is 200 so OQ square is 200 now OQ is nothing but root 200 so this root 200 you can write as 2 into 100 okay so separating the roots it is root 2 into root 100 root 100 is nothing but 10 so it is 10 root 2 the answer is 10 root 2 so OQ is equal to 10 root 2 centimeters so this is 10 root 2 okay now you can find that this is a quadrant of a circle yes and it is one fourth of the circle so if you complete this circle this is one fourth part of the circle so you can find the area of this very simply by area of quadrant OAQB is nothing but now this is one fourth of the circle yes so you will just write one fourth of circle area circle area is pi r square clear so this is one fourth of pi you can take it as 3.14 into r is nothing but 10 root 2 so 3.14 into 50 which is nothing but let us multiply so it is 715 okay so it is 157 centimeter square clear so now we want the area of the shaded region it is nothing but area of this quadrant minus area of this square so area of shaded region is nothing but area of this quadrant is 157 centimeter square minus area of the square is 100 so area of the shaded region is 157 minus 100 it is 57 centimeter square clear very simple problem given for a four marker so let us recapitulate now so if this is a circle and this is an external point p okay so the length of the tangent so this is a tangent to the circle at a point a and this is another tangent okay so the length of these tangents to this circle are equal okay that means pa is equal to pb the tangents drawn from an external point to the circle are always equal okay and suppose this is a circle with center o as you all know that this is a sector okay so if this is x degrees this complete thing is a sector okay if this is x degrees then the area of the sector is given by x by 360 degrees into pi r square okay like in the previous problem we got a figure like this okay this is a quadrant and this is a square so you had to find out the area of the shaded region so there we use the formula 1 by 4 pi r square to find the area of this quadrant okay instead you can also use this formula wherein this these are two radii okay this angle is 90 degrees okay since it is a square so you can use this formula also substitute x equal to 90 and get the area of this quadrant clear so this is all about this chapter i hope you like this video if yes give this video a big thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe so that you will be notified whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching